All right, Scorpio masculine, Scorpio masculines, we are going to get a what's the deal? What's the deal that's going on with whatever connection that made you walk through the door and come in here today, okay? So what's the deal? We're going to get you a shadow card. We're going to get you an earth magic card for some advice. We're going to get you a 3D, 4D, 5D perspective on what is the deal. All right, so here we go. Shadow card, Scorpio masculine. What's the deal? What's going on? What's the deal with this connection? What's the shadow? What's the shadow on this connection? So wherever there is light, there is always a shadow. What is the shadow of this connection? The Scorpio masculine. Well, oh, close. Yep. It's getting really quiet. Alright. Don't be shy. Wow. Alright. It's too many. What are we up to? Ah, yeah, I was about to call time on it. What's the matter, Scorpio? You don't want nobody to know that you really feel alone. It's okay. It's okay, you're safe here. You're safe here. I'm not going to ask you to bust yourself out. Let's see what the Earth Mother has for you. That was slid right off the top. Mmm. Perhaps you're not alone, but merely in a season of reflection. All right. Let's see what we got going on on your 5D line. What is your oversoul? What is your oversoul, spirit guides, angels, uh, celestials, however you connect to source? What does the celestial 5D perspective on this situation? What's the deal with it, man? What's the deal with it that it's on your mind so much that you're here asking about it? All right. What's on your mind? What's on the minds of those around you that you are connected to? What's on the telepathic web around you? What are your thoughts and those are the thoughts of those around you about this situation? What's the deal with it? looked at they all came out upside down so we get to turn them all around just dealt to you some powerful energy there scorpio all right 3d what is the narrative being pushed what is being seen what is obvious to those watching on the 3d doesn't have to be true usually the 4d rats out the 3d so let's just see what's going on on the 3d for my Scorpio masculine. Mm. Apologies. Alarms going off. Buzz, buzz. I see you playing sweet, sweet music to somebody a while ago, but now you're more of a King of Swords, thoughts and words, controlled kind of guy, over the game, playing a little bit on the defensive. <clears throat> Don't be, like, you know, when I get defensive with this card, I know it's the Nine of Pentacles, but the imagery is just defensive energy, right? It's healing energy from being burned. It's a little bit different than the Nine of Pentacles in a regular deck. It's healing energy from being burned. Alright. What do we got on the 40? At the High Priestess here. Now this is either you or someone inspiring coming towards you. And I say that because I got some sudden hope and renewal around you. Which is probably why you've been putting a lot in the past and why you suddenly feel defensive. What a strong, powerful, feminine figure has stepped in with hope and renewal. Nine of Pentacles in the actual Nine of Pentacles gain frequency sense. 
really, really gets that uh, fire roaring in the sacral energies, right? And I sense that she's a pretty witty person, right? Really witty. Perhaps even maybe a little sharp with their tongue every now and then. Very cute. Scorpio, very sweet person. Have on your mind. What does the 5D have to say about this? Right? Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Wands with a feminine fire. Lust energy for you there. I do feel, though, it does say the Empress Reverse, which means this connection's not being very nurtured. So, I feel like this person does have passion, but they're not nurturing right now because they are working on their own skills and they feel like this might be another burden to pick up right now. It's not the right time for them. Right? It's not you. It's not the right time for them. They're not done doing something yet. Okay? It's just coming into this retrograde season, right? I know you feel like you're alone in the world, but this is a season of reflection right? This is a good thing. This is a time for you to figure out who the hell you actually are, the routines that you kind of want to do, how you want to take care of yourself, really set that routine for yourself to a point where you're so solid in its foundation and happy with its results that you've now completed a full lifestyle change before anybody else comes in. That way, you are so solid in your routine that they don't rock it anymore. And you can maintain that frequency, right? Okay. All right, Scorpio, I hope that helped you. If it did, bells, buttons, all that jazz down there. Um, blessed be all those who walk these weird and winding paths with me. I love y'all. I'm back just as soon as I can. I promise.